Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about proven postcard marketing strategies that really work and will increase your ROI by a 10% or 10x. All right, I'm Jay Burnham and I'm with The Real Jay Burnham. Now, in my moving business, um, I was struggling. In the first few years, I was struggling and I couldn't get a lot of business coming in and I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing i was doing the seo i was doing the craigslist ads i was putting I, I even tried google ads but i just wasn't getting in a lot of customers i wasn't getting a lot of people coming in the doors and then i stumbled across a website which i'm going to show you here in a little bit but it talked about uh postcards and i was like wow okay and i started doing it I started doing the postcards. I got interested in postcards, reading about the postcards. And then I started using this guy's service. At first, I used their service completely for my postcards and mailing. And almost immediately, I started sending out postcards. I was getting people calling me up wanting my services. But get this, not just people wanting local moves, but I was getting people in the big households, in the households that I was targeting, they were calling me up, and these were the long-distance moves and the bigger households where we're giving me the big bucks for the moves. I mean, I was getting three, four, five, even there was a couple $10,000 jobs that I got because I started sending out postcards. Now, I'm going to go over a couple different strategies with you and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how I did it, and then I'll show you some sort of guerrilla way to get it done and marketing that's even more a little bit low budget okay but i'm going to give you the information and then you can choose to do whatever you want with it so we're talking about postcards this is my postcard that i send out now it's longer than most it's very color and it's branded that's a key word we haven't really talked about branding too much but this is branded everything everything i send out everything i have my uh rat cards my my business cards my letterhead my website it's all branded so wherever they go they see the same color scheme the same fonts the the little swoosh here thank you very much i really love the swoosh i um it's all all branded everything i have all my posters everything's branded my t-shirts and, and company shirts all have this logo and, and color scheme and so on so everywhere we go it's branded and I'm going to show you how now you don't have to send out something like this when I first started I started just the regular size postcards and that's absolutely fine I now send out my postcards on my own because it's I found it to be cheaper and I have a little bit more control over everything but when I first started I used a specific company and uh, I'm going to show you that company now so let me move myself out of the way here there we go we're down there at the bottom but right now we're here at this company called Moving Leads, and uh, this is the company I founded. And uh, it's a small little company in, in Colorado, but they're just awesome to work with. Um, I've never had a problem. They're easy to get on the phone uh, through email, through Facebook, on the phone. These guys have just been nothing but beautiful people to work with. Now. I'm not getting any money by uh, recommending these to you guys. So um, by all means, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go to their website. But I'm, I don't get a dime for recommending these guys, okay? So uh, just know that this is a real recommendation from me, all right? This is a real review from me. Um, it's, it's a company that I've used and I still use. And I'm very, very happy with their service. These guys have never led me astray and never done me wrong. They're just top-notch professionals. Um, anyway, they got a lot of good information here. Okay. Um, I would suggest you give them a call. The number's right here. They'll talk to you on the phone. They're, they're, it, it's pretty cheap. When I first started, it was about, I, I was sending out my leads. Um, I was sending out. Uh, they were costing me about 75 cents a, a lead. I think it's up to a buck now. I mean, if that's if they do everything. That's the postcard, the stamp, the 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 name, the whole work. So that's about a buck. 
you can save a lot of money if all, all you do is just buy the names and then self adhesive them to your own postcards and get your postcards printed up. You can save a little bit of money that way. Um, but that's up to you. And I, I definitely don't suggest you do what I do when you're first starting off. What I would suggest is get them to do it for you. Get Start building up uh, the, the, the client list. And uh, once you make bringing in the money, then uh, you should uh, – you should be then move to the postcards. Um, the reason why I went to a big postcard like this is I wanted to stand out. When I would go out to a, do an estimate, I would see people with just the regular postcards. Um, they weren't fancy. They were Some of them were nice. Most of them were just black and white pieces of crap. Um, but I, went, I wanted something that would stand out that was substantial in their hand that looked really professional, looked like a professional company. But that's up to you what you want to do. But you can use this company for everything. They'll go do the whole thing. They'll sell you the leads, which are fairly cheap. I think they're like 25 cents a lead. Plus, they'll do the postcard and everything. Again, very professional people. But if you decide you want to do the just send out your own postcards, there's a couple places um, you can do that with the, to get all the stuff around. But I'm going to show you. They, got, they actually have a great article, and I'm going to show you that article. Um, it's right here on their website. And it's called Eight Simple Tips to Create Postcard Designs That Sell. Um, and it's it's just a great article. I would recommend, I'll leave a link in the description too to this particular But this article, when I started doing the leads myself, I read their article. And I this is what got me to start doing it on my own. Um, admittedly, before I had my own postcard design, I did use their design. Um, I had them print it. And I would then, I had a bunch printed uh, like that. And uh, using their design, I went to a, a local printer and had them printed. But they show you exactly how to do it. Um, and over on this side, they got a lot of different great articles that you could read about, about postcards and marketing and so on and so forth. The, it's really, really good stuff to read. And I definitely recommend it to you. But this article here, really gives you a good idea of how to have your postcard designed and then what it, what it should be on it and how to write it and so on and so forth. Um, it's professional looking. So you can just basically take this and go. Um, they actually, if you talk to them, they'll actually give you a whole thing where you can just use their template and just take that to a printer and go, here's the template. This is how I want it designed with my, my logos and so on and so forth and colors. And they can rock with it, um, but yeah, definitely check out the this this article if you're going to do it yourself. Um, but here's the thing: with their leads, is awesome. Their leads are awesome because if you use their leads, you can actually target the households you want. For me, what I did, and it's going to be different for you if you're wherever you're at, but for me in Lansing, I had found that households that Houses that were selling for $100,000 or more were the, the prime targets to send the postcards out to. Um, you might have to do a little tweaking to find out. I found anything below 100 homes that were less than 100000 the people weren't as easily, they didn't have the funds, basically, um, and they couldn't really afford a, a moving company, but if a house was a hundred thousand or more, most of those people could afford um, moving services. You'll have to, like, if you're in LA, you'll have to kind of figure that out for yourself. What's affordable? It might be like three hundred thousand or four hundred thousand uh, uh, of value, and you can go from there. Or a particular zip code. Um, and that's the neat thing about uh, these guys here at Moving Leans. You can actually tell them what your criteria is, and they will, they will do it. Um, and you can tell them what your budget is, what areas you want to work in, what kind of what kind of houses, the demographic of the houses. They will do all of that for you and send you just the leads. And I tell you what, when I started sending out my postcards, and I started highly target targeting my postcards to the my target audience, uh, I, my ROI. Well, first of all, the conversion factor i was getting like a four to five percent conversion factor when i sent out my postcards if i sent out a hundred postcards i'll get four or five people giving me a call 
I'll I'll sell one or two of those. And that more than pays for how much I'm sending out the postcards every week. So just keep that in mind. So, I mean, you might seem, oh, you're only getting about four or five people calling you. But you sell one or even two of those leads, you know, you, you've paid for you paid for the, the actual expense of the postcard. So keep that in mind. Um, but again, if you don't want to do that and you want to find out your, you don't want to buy their list, I would still suggest you use this template and the, the, these eight simple steps here, but I'll show you some place where you can go. Um, that's really cheap, free actually. It's called Zillow. And you basically, you just enter a, a zip code. Uh, I'm going to do my zip code, 4842, which is Holt, Michigan. Uh, it's then going to give me all the houses. Now, you can see it brought up here, uh, all these, these houses that are for sale and so on and so forth. Now, you don't want to send a postcard to every one of those people. Uh, first of all, let me also qualify this. When you do this method, you will get response, but it's not going to be as good as if you had the highly targeted list. Um, so um, what I would do here is I would find, okay, good. You got this house that's for sale. It's 184000 so it's in our the price range. I would go and click it, and by clicking it, I would then see it if it's empty. That's the key. Is the house empty? Okay, this house is empty. So here's a good thing. This is a good thing. Okay, so you know this house is empty. You do not want to send a postcard to this house because nobody's living there and your postcard's going to be returned. So you close that out. So you go to the next house. Uh, I think these are all built houses, but let's see. Uh, here's a house. Let's strike this out. What you're looking for is the internal, the pictures of the house. When you look in the, inside the house, if it's furnished, if there's like furniture in the house, then that's that's what you're looking for. That's who you want to send. But look over here, folks, right here. It gives you the address. It doesn't give you a name or anything, but it does give you an address. So you can just simply address it to the address. Address it to residence at 1596 Berkeley Drive, Holt, Michigan, 48842. Um, I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't send a postcard to this place because there's no there's no furniture no one's living here so your card's probably going to get returned and that's going to be a waste of stamp uh, and the, the cost of the postcard itself um, here's one that's in auction let's see if there's okay that's all all right I wouldn't I wouldn't send a postcard to that place so let's get out of that um, let's see here um, another thing you want to look to is how long has it been on Zillow? The the least amount of time, the better. Um, here here's a house. Let's see if this house does it have. Okay, now this house is furnished. It's got you can see that there's uh, chairs, there's kitchen tables, clothes in the closet. Oh, that's perfect. Um, so you know somebody's living here. So what I would do is I would fill out my postcard and I would address two five five zero Dell Ridge Drive. Holt, Michigan, 48842. Now, admittedly, this is going to take you a lot of work. It's going to take you a lot of time. Me, I would just spend the time, the money and pay the people at Moving Leads to do it. But that's up to you. But this is one way that if you got you got the time, you can actually go and send some highly targeted uh, postcards out. But if you do it this way, it's going to take a lot of time. Literally, I, I spent hours doing it th on this method. Until I said, you know what, I'm going to go back to moving leads and just have them do it because it just wasn't worth my time. But this is one way you can do it. <clears throat> um, so there's your tricks. There's some down and dirty tricks. If you're going to do it, send out postcards um, because especially using that tip. Or what you could do is if you have a real estate friend who's a, who's a realtor, um, you know, set up a, an agreement with them say dude look um you you got access to the mlm i'll pay you 25 cents for every lead you off the mlm that you give me in this area and you can and that's one way you can do it um i do know that there's some rules about using the mlm ML, 
MLM, which is multiple listing something or other. Uh, that's where all the houses go into this listing. Um, I don't know. You just you'll just have to find whether your realtor is willing to do that or not. I found a couple of realtors that were willing to do that for me. Um, so that's another way you can get that list, and you don't have to use this company, and you could probably save yourself some money. Maybe if you, if your friend's really good, he'll sell it to you like ten cents a a lead, and he'll just send you the names, and then you print them off on labels off your computer, put them on your postcard. Bada bing, bada boom. Now. In my area, I have found that um, I, about 300 uh, postcards a week is what I send out. Um, I could send up, up to 1,000, um, and I've tried that before, and although I did get a lot more calls, um, I didn't necessarily get a lot more sales. So that seemed to just be the spot through uh, research and testing that I found to be right for me, and that's what I'm going to suggest to you. Is just test your market. All right, guys. I think uh, that's pretty good. Some pretty good tips. Hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions on this, and if I didn't explain it good enough for you, leave me a comment below, or you can go to my website and give me a call or email me, whatever you do. But I would love you to give me a thumbs up, like it, share this with your family and friends, especially if you like them, and please subscribe so you can get all my other videos. So until uh, tomorrow, when I'll have my next video, I'll bid you guys adieu. God bless. Have a great day.